And always a reminder for myself and abdukul abji so da'if or miskeen or zalim or jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to enter into the holy month of Muharram of Baba Tawbah, that the first of the lunar calendar, the new year and the gate of repentance. And that Allah accept us in this gate of repentance and in these 10 days up to the day of Ashura which Allah granted Najad and saved every nation on Ashura. And we ask that Allah to dress us and bless us and save us from our bad character and that Allah's ridha and satisfaction and the lights and love of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress us and bless us with this gate of repentance and entering into the gate of repentance through Surat Al-Tawbah with no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Allah wants for us to sacrifice the bad character, put down the bad character and enter this ocean of marifa, this way of Gnosticism and to reach to Allah's Divine satisfaction and pleasure. And that's the heart and the love and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That we pray that Allah grant us from these lights and from this love and from this ishq and that Allah grant us good character to achieve that. The first lunar month has the immense blessings of the light of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that in this way of Marifa, this light of Marifa and the way of the first lunar moon means the shar is a isharat that we follow the way of the moon and the lunar month not because it's convenient but because we are a nation that kept the way of the sun and the moon and the immense secret of guidance of Shamsi wal Qamar that the shar and the moon tajalli is the reality of guidance and that Allah placed it upon our horizon as a reminder that don't think you're on this earth by yourself. I'll show you the sign within yourself and upon the horizon. And as soon as we end… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Enter into this reality, Allah says, See, you are in need of this sun. This sun gives you eyesight, gives you breath through photosynthesis gives everything in our existence a warmth. For if that sun was farther away or closer to us, we would either freeze or burn to death. Allah placed the earth exactly in the place He wants it so that we can receive the nourishment and the reality of the shams so that we understand and Allah wants us to understand through Divinely knowledges that, yes everything is Allah but Allah wants us to understand, do you see my creation? Why is the sun where it is? Why is it not farther from you and why is it not closer to you? It's exactly placed to your benefit. We said before, farther away you freeze to death, you wouldn't feel the warmth of the sun, closer to you and you would burn to death. It would be a barren desert burned by the heat of the sun and then the energy of the sun. So it means that we are in need of that reality.
because we have to understand the horizon to understand the inside. And that that sun that we're so in need of, Allah making this earth to circumambulate the sun. Before they used to think that the sun is going around the earth, never in Islam because Islam came to take people out of darkness and into the light to teach them, no, because the deep reality is that everything circumambulates the light, everything else is perishable. The sun is an immense source of eternity for us. So means that when we look at that reality it's a symbol of eternity. When we want to know what's eternal, what's eternal in our life, look at the sun. It has been there, the same sun for Sayyidina Adam and how many of the versions of Sayyidina Adam have witnessed that exact same sun. So means it is a reality of eternity for us. So we're not here by ourselves, Allah make us to look at these symbols that that's a symbol of eternity and that I, I breathe because of that sun. If that sun was not shining there would be no oxygen on the plants. The plants have to take that sunlight and release an oxygen for us. There would be no vision that Allah precisely made us to see a specific spectrum of the light of that sun when it hits the atmosphere of this earth. And we have vision, we have the whole comfort of our existence based on Allah placing that shams. And Allah said, then look to the moon, that your existence is also based on that moon. For the light and the energy that the sun is sending, if it was continuous there's no way that you could exist. The amount of energy that would be coming upon the earth and the inability to find a, a refuge or a, a withdrawal of that energy, Allah created the moon as a reflection and that that moon is responsible for our growth and makes all the vegetation on this earth grows by moonlight not sunlight. Sunlight sweetens everything, moonlight raises everything, nourishes it, guides it. And Allah said, then gift to us as a nation, follow the sun and the moon. So we follow the lunar calendar and not the solar calendar. The solar calendar is a state of arrogance in which they think that they don't need any more guidance and they can deal directly with the light. And a nation that remains to be humble and a nation that remains to understand the reality of guidance that Allah has a Allah, Tiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum means that the sun, the moon and the earth is a secret of guidance. So that we are in need of what tajalli the sun is going to be sending upon the moon and that the moon is always vigilant over our reality. So the Qamar is a reality for this nation and there are 12 moons, 12 hijabs that dress and bless the nation. And the first of which and the outer face of that moon are the 12 Khalifas. The first of which Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq So the immensity of that blessing, the immensity of the guidance, the guidance of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is on the opening of Muharram, that the hijrah and that's why Prophet is the Shams, Shams al-Arafeen took with his holy soul for the opening of Muharram and the opening of the hijrah took Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq to the cave. Means they set out to open the reality of the city of lights and moved and stopped within the cave to bring out the realities of the cave, a short stay and then enter into Medina to Munawwara, the city of lights because now he's going to bestow the reality of these lights upon this earth, the lights of guidance and the lights of Allah's immense rahmah and mercy. And as a result of the movement between Prophet and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, we described the night before, then the other moon is dressing the nation, 
that Prophet gave to the side of the moon that we never see. It's a dark side and the secret side of the moon. There are 12 Imams of the nation, the Ahlul Bayt whom they represent the prophetic secret in creation. One is the companion and Sahabi secret of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq salam that represents what Prophet gave to his companions of his realities and what he gave to his family of their realities. And the first month of Muharram represents then the tajalli and the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Imam Ali salam dressing the nation. That Sayyidina Ali, Imam Ali represents then the side of the moon in which we don't see, the secret side of the moon. And that's why that secret side of the moon laid within the bed to sacrifice himself for the beginning of the hijrah. Because the hijrah is the symbol of the two sides. One side that you saw and you were acquainted with that went to the cave and went to Medina and the other side that is not so much talked about is about the reality of Imam Ali Salam that laid within the bed to sacrifice himself salam, as a child so that the nation would move, that the message would be delivered and that to show the loyalty and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad that was so willing to sacrifice himself for that love and for that reality. That's the immense blessings of Muharram. That we pray that Allah dress us from the Siddiqiyya reality, dress us from the Ahlul Bayt reality and that perfect our character to have the truthfulness, the love and the companionship and the, the friendship that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq represents, the immense love and companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad the trust and the nobility of character. And that we have the love and the respect and the chivalry of Imam Ali Salam in the family inheritance. So make it to be a, a perfected moon. So the nation's hijrah starts with common, perfected guidance. The Prophet made the door of this reality in complete perfection. Give you to the first of the Khalifas, the Siddiq al Mutlaq, the perfected, complete, truthful servant of Allah, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. And the immensity of the family and encompassed the reality of Imam Ali. Salam. This is the dress and the bless of Muharram, and this is the, the realities of Tariqat al Naqshbandiyatul Aliyya, the only tariqah coming from this guidance of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as and sweetened with the secret of Imam Ali salam within the tariqah. We pray that Allah grant us from its lights, grant us from its blessings and make us to be worthy of the immense reality of it and open our hearts to understand what that immense reality is. If we truly understood the immense realities we would not need to ask for anything in life, we would be happy and content with everything in life knowing that Allah has granted us the greatest gift that He can grant which is the tariqat al naqshbandiyat al aliyya the immensity of the muhabbat and ishq and the, the reality that it encompasses of haqiqat al muhammadiyyah InshaAllah Allah dress us and bless us from its immensities and grant us in our hearts its immense love and admiration for these realities, this gift of guidance in this holy month of Muharram inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat ammi yasifun wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisiri Surat al-Fatiha.